Going now to London, the Philippine ambassador has been presented to the Queen. Bang Espiritu reports from London. Hi, I'm Bang Espiritu from the London Bureau, reporting from the Philippine Embassy here in London. The Philippine ambassador in United Kingdom and Northern Ireland, His Excellency Ambassador Antonio Landemayo, is presenting a letter of credentials to Her Majesty, the Queen of England in Buckingham Palace, England. This is um, the new ambassador from the Philippines presenting his letters of credence or credentials to Her Majesty the Queen, which is something that all new ambassadors and high commissioners do when they arrive in London. London. It's part of our formal ceremony. Um, all of the ambassadors are accredited to the Court of St. James, and therefore the practice is that they would come and present this to the Queen uh, so that they are basically performing their duties in, in the United Kingdom. All recognized foreign ambassadors meet with the reigning British monarch and present letters of credence, also known as letters of high commission among Commonwealth countries, to the monarch. As a traditional gesture, the British government takes the ambassador back to their embassy using 17th century carriages. All foreign missions have their credentials registered at the court of St. James in London. I mean, the relationship between the UK and the Philippines is very close. Uh, we work close in all sorts of things, you know, trade and investment, uh, political issues. So it's really nice to be able to come here today to help him celebrate this, uh, actually. Um, and he has a number of links with the United Kingdom, which you probably know about. Um, and so it's nice to be able to see him and so many members of the Philippine community, actually. The documents which follow, a standard text identify the diplomats as representatives of their governments and empowered to speak for them. Reporting from the Philippine Embassy, from the London Bureau, I'm Ben Espiritu, and I'm one with 25.